This is Gene Key, KDD News. From Amarillo.com, two men died Wednesday after their vehicle collided head on. Department of Public Safety officials said Bradley Morrow, 44, of Canadian, was driving his pickup truck westbound on Texas Highway 33 when he crossed over the center line and hit a truck traveling in the opposite direction, troopers said. The other vehicle, driven by Joshua Francis, 30, rolled over and caught fire. Francis of Crawford, Oklahoma, was declared dead at the scene, and Morrow was transported to Northwest Texas Hospital where he died. Troopers said Morrow was not wearing a seatbelt, and they were not sure if Francis was. The small kindergartner bitten by a rattlesnake at Bushland Elementary School is back to normal. Superintendent Don Wood said Wednesday the five-year-old boy was playing in the activity field outside school about 1.30 p.m. August the 25th when the snake bit him on the back of one leg. The boy was hospitalized until August the 29th and returned to the school in a wheelchair the next day. He spent two days in a wheelchair. After that, he was ready to go. Wood said he's back in school and 100%. And on a personal note, it seems it was only yesterday the Twin Towers fell with all of its ghastly horrors. This reporter will never forget flying over the smoldering mounds that were the Twin Towers. I remember seeing a military fighter jet at our altitude keeping guard over New York. I remember thinking about the thousands of family members that will never see their dear ones again. Several weeks after 9-11, I remember the look in the eyes of the firemen as they laid to rest their colleague and in many cases a best friend. Hundreds of first responders were at the hotel I was staying at in New York. Sunday, the 11th of September, many people across the United States will take part in the remembrance of those lost. The First Baptist Church of Dumas will be honoring all first responders as part of a special Remembrance of 9-11 service. Or if you simply choose to stay home, Sunday marks 10 years of rebuilding but never forgetting 9-11. This is Gene Key, KDD News.